the other day I was playing with my kid right I've got a three-year-old kid and you know I'm not the spring chicken that I once was and and I played a little too hard and the next day whoo I was feeling it boy <laughs> also is a testament to how out of shape I am but man the next day I I had actually I I had strained my knee you know I have a bad knee anyway and so I strained my knee and I was limping you know I was limping I actually was swollen actually right underneath my knee was a little bit swollen and I was I was limping anyway I went to work right I went to work and you know I've got all these different co-workers at my job and man it seemed like nine eight or nine out of ten of the co-workers that I ran into any time that they saw me the first words out of their mouth were like oh what happened to your knee did you get in a motorcycle accident oh what happened to your knee did you fall off your motorcycle oh what happened to your knee it wasn't on your motorcycle was it oh man it was like everybody I ran into immediately immediately their minds went to motorcycle they're like this dude rides a motorcycle he's limping he got in a motorcycle accident immediately after a while I started to get defensive <laughs> I was like no man why do you why are you thinking that you know no I mean I no <laughs> I did get in a motorcycle accident I was, I was playing with my kid man <laughs> and I overdid it so it got me to thinking though you know, it really got me thinking. I was like, you know what? I wonder if these people, every time they see me come into work with my motorcycle gear, they got to be thinking this dude is just an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> you know, this dude is like one step away from crashing on his motorcycle. Like, I wonder if that's on their minds every time they see me. I mean, I, I think it's valid. I think it, I think it really. I think they really could be thinking something like that. Maybe not all the time, but I mean, I wonder if every time they see me, they're like, "This dude is nuts for riding a motorcycle. What is he thinking? He's got a kid. What is he thinking? He's going to kill himself. He's stupid." All these thoughts are going through my mind. I don't know if they're true or not, but that reaction that I got from walking in and almost everybody seriously almost everyone was like oh did you get in a motorcycle accident oh did you fall off your bike oh man I couldn't believe it I was like and, and at first I didn't think anything of it and as the day went on and more and more people started asking me I was like hey what the hell <laughs> you know and I don't know I guess I can't blame them I mean it is a risky it is it is a, a risky um, it's a risky activity to be involved in right I mean we know that we accept that risk but damn I mean seriously every time I get hurt if I go in to work with the sling are they going to immediately say you know Hey, did you get in a motorcycle lesson? Damn, what happened? Did you fall off your motorcycle? I seriously bet they would. I really do. I should test it out. Like I should go into work and see what they what they do, what their reaction is if I come in with a sling. Just wear a sling to work and see what happens. <laughs> Man. Anyway, it just makes me think about how crazy they think I am for riding a motorcycle. And that goes for many of you guys out there too, who are my fellow motorcycle riders or motorcycle enthusiasts or interested in getting into motorcycling. Just know people are going to look at you a certain way. I, I, I think so anyway. I don't know 100%. You know, I can't get into their brains. I'm not a part of the conversations that they have behind my back, which I'm sure they do. <laughs> but I can say with some amount of cert certainty, they think that we're nuts, man. They think that we're crazy. Anyway, with that, my friends, my people, 
be sure to ride with confidence out here head up don't get in any accidents <laughs> 100 percent yeah boy this is super big